back in the 1950s, uh, when I decided to do my doctoral research, I was interested in health practices. And it struck me as a student of medical anthropology and medical behavioral science that the Amish were a rather ideal, very homogeneous setting to study this sort of thing. It's interesting that we think of the Amish as being conservative and maybe backward in some ways and a folk people with very little education. And yet when I came among the Amish back in the late 50s and early 1960s, they began to teach me some things I didn't learn at the centers of higher learning in, in academia. And the primary thing was with respect to a hereditary factor for serious psychiatric condition. Uh, they had observed over the generations that mental illness was not evenly distributed throughout the entire community. They had seen that, as with other problems, such as diabetes, forms of cancer, heart problems, that certain families only seem to suffer from frequent uh, mental disorder. And so they pointed that out, and they said, cis and blut, it is in the blood. Now, the, the chromosomes in our body cells carry the blueprint of our inheritance for our physical traits and even for some of our behaviors. We were able to find two things of a genetic nature by studying the Amish. First, because we had a sample of families where the illness was showing a pattern over the generations, we could take that sample and look at the question of is there an inheritance pattern here, or is there not? And yes, indeed, there was very strong statistical evidence that there was indeed something of a hereditary pattern. There appeared to be a single gene, a dominant gene, that was predisposing these individuals to onset with a manic depressive or depressive illness. Our research team showed that there were genetic markers on the uh, short arm on one particular tip end of chromosome number 11. These are presently only uh, markers, flags. The uh, next step will be for the people in the laboratory to close in on that gene for manic depressive illness. And the importance of getting right to the gene, walking your way along the chromosome until you know you're on the gene, is that then the laboratory workers are able to describe the biochemical action or the physiological action of this gene. What is this gene doing uh, that causes this illness? Or what is it perhaps not doing? I think the first immediate implication is simply that there is no longer a question that there is a hereditary aspect to at least some forms of a manic depressive disorder. These findings regarding the specific chromosomes and the respective genes contributing to bipolar disorders are still being investigated. However, the genetic influence found among groups sharing similar gene pools is strongly suggestive of an hereditary link contributing to bipolar disorders.